It's gonna be my first like international layover. Like jungle vibes, you know? Just realized that I forgot to uh, pack my camera battery charger. Hey guys, welcome to a new video. It is literally my first day here in Sudan. I flew in yesterday. I think I landed around 11 in the morning and I was staying upstairs at the base manager's apartment because my room, the other cabin crew, hadn't moved out yet. So she left late last night and I'm moving in right now. I wasn't planning on vlogging, but we might get to do a flight to Entebbe, which is super exciting. So I've just gotten downstairs with all my stuff. I need to unpack as quickly as possible because I don't know what time I need to be ready and I still need to shower, put my face on, all that good stuff. Just realized that I forgot to uh, pack my camera battery charger. I don't have a charger for this camera battery that I'm vlogging on right now. And I feel really, really stupid for forgetting that because I was so confident in my packing skills, but I forgot my Stanley cup at home and I forgot my camera battery charger which are pretty high up there in important things I mean they're not as important as like my required items or whatever but still I wish I had brought those two things so I guess for the next couple months my vlogs are gonna be shot on my phone because this battery is probably gonna die at some point today if I can figure out a way to get another camera battery charger then I will try but I'm also not holding my breath I just feel so dumb right now I'm so upset with myself. I don't know what time we're supposed to leave for our flight or any of the details of the flight or anything like that except that it might happen so I'm kind of on standby for it because today is Tuesday and the other crew are currently flying to Kaduglio and back but their FDP will be maxed out if they have to operate the next flight so we have to operate it. So yeah, let me shut up, try to save what little battery life I have left on this camera and I'll chat to you guys later. I guess this means we're going. It's pretty much confirmed we're gonna leave in the next 20 minutes to go to the airport. The other crew are landing and waiting for us and then we're just joining them on the plane. We're taking over and we're operating but we're just ferrying the flight to Entebbe. I have no idea how long the flight is, I'll tell you guys later. But as far as I know, we're gonna operate there tonight uh, with no passengers. And then tomorrow morning, I don't know which crew is gonna operate but we have to operate from Entebbe to Kadugli and back to Entebbe and back to Kadugli and then back to Khartoum. So it's gonna be a bit of a long day tomorrow, but luckily there will be two crews. It's gonna be my first like international layover while doing this whole charter thing because usually we fly around whatever country that we go to, but today it's like the first time I'm gonna to get to do an international layover and I'm beyond excited. I've only heard good things about Entebbe, so I'm really excited to see it for myself, even though I'm literally only going to be there for the evening, but that's okay. I really don't mind. I don't mind at all. I'm just excited to be going. Ah, and I get to bring you guys along. Okay, but I am going to leave my camera behind because it is chunky. She's a chunky one. Um, so the rest of this vlog will be filmed on my phone. I'm almost ready. I just need to put on my scarf and my shoes, of course. But otherwise, I am done. I've got everything I need. I've packed and repacked my bag just in case, double checking that I've got everything I need. I'm so excited for this. So excited. <laughs>
sunset in yeah, the back. Yeah, Look at that. Yeah. That's a bit of view. How That's much? a much better view. Isn't this stunning as well? This that is stunning. <laughs> That's a stunning view. <laughs> that is the prettiest. That's the place best view. Ever. Ever. Oh my gosh. Okay guys, but we are in Entebbe in Uganda. Come Coral, say what you were saying before. First time in a new country. <laughs> yes. Uh, wait, that doesn't make sense. First time in a new country. <laughs> First time in this country. First, first time flying. First time in Uganda. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this such a fail? Uganda learn today. <laughs> I really just need to stuff my face. I'm starving. So are the crew. We're all just in our rooms to quickly change and then head back downstairs to meet each other at the restaurant and have something to eat. So. I wanted to show you my view because I could finally see it because when I arrived last night it was dark obviously it's just a wall it's literally just a wall there's a little bit of a tree there but it's mostly just a wall so apologies for the lighting I just wanted to come on here and say good morning and give you a little bit of a rundown of what happened yesterday because I realized that I barely explained anything yesterday we basically were called out they told us really late the night before that we are going to be doing this flight, operating a flight to Entebbe. Yesterday, the other crew were already operating a Kadugli, a Kadugli turn. So they were flying to Kadugli and back. And then as soon as they landed back in Khartoum, we got on the plane, we took over. And myself, my captain and my first officer operated, like we were the crew in charge of ferrying the flight from Khartoum all the way here to Entebbe. The other crew stayed on board, so it was all of us, both captains, both first officers, and both cabin crew on board, as well as the engineer. So seven of us flew here to Entebbe. Our flying time was like three and a half hours. I honestly thought that we were flying all the way to Australia. It felt like the longest flight on earth. But if you know anything about the ATR, you know that she's a slow bird. We were all just hanging out. The other crew that weren't operating were really just chilling. We landed here around sunset. I think we landed around half past six and then we only got to the hotel around half past eight last night. The other crew are currently flying. They're doing a Kadugli turn again but out of Entebbe. So it's going to be about a two hour flight each way from here to Kadugli and back here and when they get back here we are getting on the plane and again taking over and we'll be flying from here to Kadugli again and then from Kadugli back to Khartoum to end the day. So we'll be getting back much later on today. It's currently 7.30. I've already woken up and had a shower, gotten dressed now. I just want to go downstairs and have breakfast quickly and then hopefully I will have an hour to myself because I need an hour to do a quiz. I have an assignment due today. That's pretty much my breakdown of everything that's happened. I'm just so incredibly grateful and excited that I am here. It does suck that we didn't have enough time to like explore anything or do anything. My captain actually used to live here for like 12 years in the city so it would have been so nice for him to like show us around his old stomping grounds or something if we had gotten here around like maybe even two o'clock in the afternoon yesterday. I think we still would have been able to see something and maybe go eat at one of his favorite restaurants or something. That would have been really cool. Um, but unfortunately, it just didn't work out that way. So all I can do is hope that we have another one of these layovers sometime soon. Is that a generator or something? What is making that noise? Sorry, I just had to close my window because suddenly there was a loud noise. The view coming in last night and seeing Lake Victoria was insane. It was It's like seeing the ocean, but it's not. Lake Victoria is huge. Like, I can't, I don't know why, I never like grasped it before. But like coming in, landing yesterday, I was like, nah, that's the ocean, guys. <laughs> it's beautiful so far. But yeah, let me shut up and go have some breakfast and then hopefully try to get my assignment done pack up, get ready, and get out of here to go back to Khartoum. Mm. They're French toast. Chicken wings. Chicken wings. <laughs> oh, when else did I have cabbage? Beef katogo. What is katogo? It's a... Uh, 
It's banana. Oh, so it's like plantain almost. Oh, nice. And then. Yes. Oh, you can ask for your eggs to be done. Yeah. That's nice. Muffins. Oh, I'll take a couple of muffins for the other guys. All right. So we were supposed to already be checking out, and I literally had already changed into uniform again. But it turns out we're not operating today anymore. So the other crew are flying to Kadugli. They actually just landed like 15 minutes ago. And then they're going to fly back. And because they were, I don't know what the problem was, but there was like a three hour delay this morning for them getting out of here that we can't do our last couple of legs tonight because Kadugli has limitations. You can't land there after like sunset or something so if we tried to operate the flight back to Kadugli this evening we wouldn't make it in time so instead we're going to spend another night here wake up really early tomorrow morning and myself and my pilots will operate the flight going to Kadugli and then from Kadugli all the way back to Khartoum as well the other crew this morning they flew 27 passengers from Entebbe back to Kadugli and then they're coming back empty so it's another ferry flight so hopefully it's a quick turnaround for them and they're back while it's still light out and they get to see a little bit of Uganda with us. I just thought I would quickly show you guys my room in the daylight because I did do a room tour last night, but my camera's a little funky. I don't know. I don't have the best cell phone camera anymore. I have a Samsung Galaxy Note 9. And for some reason, I just, I'm never happy with this camera quality in low light. But let me quickly show you what my room looks like. Yeah, this is a bit better. So we've got the bed over here. We've got this really funky ceiling light up top, <laughs> mood lighting, you know, and then on that side is a closet with big mirrors, which is nice. Got a space for my luggage, got a little seating area, and then over here we've got a little like tea and coffee station, which is cute, and then this is the bathroom. I'm actually physically obsessed with this bathroom, you guys. The shower I took this morning was amazing it was beyond but i just think this is such a nice like clean looking shower like it's so simple so nice i actually really love this tile it's like glass or something i don't know but it looks really fun ah okay so i had to just turn the light on there's a shelf up here as well there's the loo and here is the little sink look at the sparkles they match the little shower sparkly tiles as well but yeah, this is the bathroom. It's really nice. My view from the room is literally a solid wall, but from the bathroom, it's not too bad. Look at that. That is beautiful. I feel like I'm on some kind of tropical island, like jungle vibes, you know? I've been busy with my assignment, so I'm about to submit it now. I literally was just sitting on the couch because, uh, like I said, we were meant to, like, we were already checking out. So I'd already checked out of my room and stuff. And then it was only decided that we're staying another night. So I just decided I'll keep my same room. Like, it's really not that big of a deal if I sleep in the same bed again. But when I got up here, there was somebody already cleaning this room. So there was, like, a sitting area downstairs. So I just sat there and finished my assignment. And I said to her, I don't mind coming back to the same room. So she quickly finished up and tidied up. And then I came back here. So now I can change back into normal clothes and then um, my captain like I said earlier he used to live here and him and the first officer while I was busy with my assignment earlier they walked to the lake to Lake Victoria I didn't get to walk with them but they said it was like an hour walk there and back I think so it's kind of a walk but now we're gonna go to this one supermarket that my captain spoke about. Um, we're gonna go at one o'clock. It's 11 o'clock here I'm gonna meet up with them at one o'clock Wait, no, it's not 11 o'clock. My watch is on normal time, so it's 12 o'clock. I've got an hour. At 1 o'clock, I'm going to meet them, and we're going to walk to a supermarket that should be about 15 minutes away or something. I feel so lucky that I get to go and just, like, walk around and see a little bit of this place. It's really nice, but I feel terrible that the other crew woke up so early and then had a three-hour delay. But I'm happy that they'll be back before the sun sets, so they'll get to see a little bit more of Uganda today as well. Huh? Oh, pumpkin porridge with lots of pumpkin in it.
My first officer, Captain, and myself just went for a walk into one of the supermarkets, and the sandals that I had were horrendous. They're so old and worn down, and they were hurting my feet. So I literally just picked up these barter sandals. These, oh, this way, this way, Andy. Which way? This way. <laughs> okay. So I literally just picked up these barter sandals and they are doing a much better job than the others because the others were literally the least comfortable things on the planet. Ah, uh, nothing better than a nice quick afternoon nap. I was in bed just lying there watching YouTube videos. Actually, I didn't even nap. I was just lying there enjoying getting some rest. Now the other crew are back, so I'm gonna go meet them for a drink and dinner, so. Hey guys, so it is much later now. It is 7.30 p.m. local time. Tomorrow, we're expecting kind of an early start to the day. So I need to be up at like 3.30 or something because I need to be downstairs around 5 a.m. And then we're getting picked up out of here at 5.30. And then departure time should be around 7 a.m. I will see you guys in the morning. I'm sorry for the low light. My lighting in this room is pretty dim, even on the ceiling. It's not the greatest, but it's okay. It's a, it's mood lighting. That's what it's meant for. It's not meant for vlogging. So I'm just going to say goodnight and I'll see you guys all in the morning. Bye. It is three minutes before 5 a.m. I just got ready. I'm about to head downstairs. I just need to grab all of my things, put my phone and stuff in my bag, put on my shoes and head downstairs to meet the crew. We're gonna quickly have breakfast together. I think I'm just gonna have a coffee. That's all I can seem to handle right now. And then we'll be going off to the airport. The other crew operated yesterday. They did their two flights to Kadugli and back. Today, myself, my first officer and my captain are going to be operating the first two legs. We're going to be flying from Entebbe to Kadugli with, I think, 28 passengers. And then from Kadugli back to Khartoum with another 20 passengers, if I'm not mistaken. When we get back to Khartoum, myself and my pilot are getting off the plane and heading back to the apartment. And then the other crew will take over when we get to Khartoum and they're going to operate another Kadoogly turn, so they're gonna fly to Kadoogly and back. with 28 passengers it's almost 20 to 10 now and um, we're just refueling and everything we ended up leaving about 30 minutes behind schedule it's weird and strange having to do the demo for some crew like when you've got crew sitting and watching you do a demo it's a little bit daunting I don't know what it is it's like the passengers probably don't even care what I'm doing but I know that like my crew are kind of used to this so so yeah it's a little bit weird having to do it so I had the other captain and the other FO literally sitting at the overwing over there where I stand to do the demo and it was just oh, it was something and then the other cabin crew was also on the flight and the engineer and she's the line trainer but it was a really fun flight I really enjoyed having like company you know in terms of colleagues during the flight hopefully we'll be done refueling soon and then we'll be able to board I think we're supposed to take 14 passengers with us to Khartoum and then I'll be done for the day like not too bad. So far, a good day. It's about one o'clock now and we landed just before 12. We got off the plane, came home. I helped like tidy up the plane and everything before getting off. Now we're home and I literally just had to sit on my bed. Not that it's been like that busy, but I think just because I 
usually when I come back on contract I'm not as busy like right off the bat so I just needed to decompress a little bit everything was so nice like everyone was so nice on this last flight everyone was super chill really sweet this one man he just made the flight for me honestly I noticed him from the moment he got on board I think in general as you grow up it's a little easier to let life just happen to you and to let yourself get wrapped up in just the more negative things and to not take a second to really take in what's going on around you especially if it's like a good moment or a big moment and stuff like that so it was really so nice to see this man he must have been in his 40s but from the moment he got on that plane that was just the highlight of his day he was smiling from ear to ear the entire time he introduced himself he was so chipper so nice and even when he was getting off it was like he had just had the best day and the best interaction with me during the flight we chatted a bit and he was so sweet and i'm just like in awe of his ability to just really be in the moment and really enjoy whatever he's doing i think he hadn't flown for a while so it was just like such a fun thing for him my camera battery finally died but anyway i was saying this guy he was sitting next to somebody on the right hand side of the plane and he kept looking towards the left and there was an empty row on the left and he just kept looking that way so i was like just go sit that side it's okay and look out the window so that you can get a really good view on the nile when we fly over it and everything and he was just so excited i've never seen anyone his age like jump up that quickly and just get so excited so that was really really fun to see and a really great reminder to honestly just enjoy the little things and the little moments and take a second to just let yourself be a kid again and let yourself be excited about these little things all over again because there's just so much beauty in it okay that's it for my TED talk of the day thank you guys for watching this vlog I hope you enjoyed it thank you for coming on this three-day trip with me um, I had a blast I honestly had a blast although I am right now like socialized out like my social battery is completely empty right now so I would love to be a hermit crab but I am going to cook for the other cabin crew and the engineer because they're still flying right now and I'm sure they're gonna have quite a long day so um, I'm gonna make dinner for them so that when they get home they can just eat and pass out like I want to do I just want to say thanks guys once again I hope you enjoyed it what a way to start off the tour right what a way to start off another contract in Sudan this has been so much fun. I really hope I do more of these trips. I'll see you guys all on the next vlog. Until then, please continue spreading good vibes and being kind. You give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign.